Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 10th, 11th, 12th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Aries. Hello, my Aries, and happy birthday. Well, you know, weekend readings, my two, I use my two Radley Valentine decks. I use my angel tarot cards for the main message, and then I pull one, or try to, from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, okay, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? Okay. Um, I am doing this on the 7th. It is the full moon in Libra. I'm feeling very, you know, the full moon, it starts at 1035 Eastern time tonight, um, but I'm feeling very, very positive energy, and it, it's very light. It's a lighter energy. I'm not saying that we're going to be able to leave our houses, and it may be because we're all coming together. I'm not quite sure. I just feel, I just feel the energies are happier, if you want to say that. I know that our situation's the same, but I just feel lighter energy, and I wanted to share that. As always, thank you to our first responders, our essential workers, the people that are, you know, going out into the world to keep our infrastructure going. Thank you to everyone who's staying home. You know, I know that that's not easy either, but together, together we will get through this and we will get on to the other side. And let me go. A card had fallen. Let's see where that card is. Here we go. See what we have for my Aries. So this one, okay, remember I'm an intuitive channeler and what that means is I open myself up to my higher power and whatever the message is that needs to come out, it just comes out, no filter. Now, three cards, the second and third are face down, but the first and the third are reversed. So it means a little stronger message. That's how I read these cards. Okay, it's kind of like the cards are saying, or the angels are saying, pay attention, just a little bit more. So the first card we have is fire energy. Fire energy, that's the four of fire. That's your energy, Aries. It's also Leo, and it's also Sagittarius. It's passionate, and it's burning, and it's determined energy. And this is a, you know, this this is part of what I'm feeling. I'm feeling this this better energy. I'm feeling like, you know, maybe after a couple of weeks, maybe we're kind of getting used to it. Maybe we're seeing the blessings in disguise. You know, um, you know, maybe we're feeling like, okay, we're going to get through this. But this is all about contentment. This is about finding our places. And I'm feeling for you, my Aries, that this, this is a weekend that just pulls so much positive energy to you. So contentment, peace, and abundance. A happy home life, the successful completion of a project. Your next card is the five of fire. Now, again, it's that fire energy. Fives are about some changes. Now, you know, the thing about change. Okay, the thing about um, when some, when we're when I talk about going into our new normal, things do have to end. Things do have to end in order for that start to start again. Now, fives are about change. It could be happy changes. It could be kind of negative changes. It could be neutral changes. Changes are always stressful. And especially with the, you know, with the fire energy, it, it, it's kind of like your changes, you know, it, it, it's, you know, it, it just, it's kind of burdensome at the same time. But we, this four of fire, though, this four of fire lightens up all these changes that are going around for you. Yes, it's changes. The, you know, but yet you're able to take it and you're actually transcending it. You're taking it and you're bring it, bringing these changes, which normally would have stressed you out and almost pulled you apart. But with this four of fire energy, it's like, it's like you're handling it so much better than you thought you even would. Or you thought if somebody had said this to you a year ago or so, you would have gone, oh, I can't go through that. But yet you're doing it. You're doing it. And with that, with that, you're doing it. There's a lot of growth for you. There's a lot of growth and there's a lot of maturity, maturing for you. You know, you can be a very old soul already, but it's taking you still to another level. So this weekend, and this could be because of the balancing Libra moon, but and it's also, I think, you know, Venus is doing some stuff right now too. 
but it it's like it it's taking you and you're you're handling it so much better than you might have handled things before okay so the five of fire is competing goals bothersome details conflicts with others your last card this one's reversed also is the six of water water energy is cancer pisces and scorpio energy fluid energy emotional energy and there's this you know there's this big love of this family there's this you know there's some memories coming back there's this is kind of the remembrance card um, but I'm really feeling that, you know, between this four of fire, yes, even though there's these changes going on, you're, ha you know, it's pulling you to, it's pulling you to, um, it's pulling you to a place that you may not necessarily, I, like I said, you've not been there for, you've not been there. It's, it's a new place for you. It's a new place for you. Okay. And I am getting that, that type of new place, new, new, um, you know, I, I don't know, new status, new place, new level, um, you're leveling up, um, you know, I feel that there is a spiritual component really reaching in for you too, um, there's also this, um, there's this sense of, you know, there, there's a sense of growth for you here too, okay, anyway, Memories from your history or childhood issues regard childhood issues regarding children romanticizing the past. But for the most part, that four of fire, for all of this, I feel like for you, my Aries, that that, you know, and I know we're going through a lot of stuff. What, you know, and I, I get my I do read, you know, my comments. Um, I know there's so many different uh, theories of what's going on. I get that, but we're all working this through together. And for you, my Aries, it's it's like you're just you're you're met, you know. And I talk about the you know metamorphosizing and you know um, you know the the caterpillar to the butterfly. But it's like you're and I feel like you're also stepping up more so than you ever thought yourself possible. You're you're re, you're digging in and getting a lot. I mean, you're digging in and doing things um, that are at such a higher level. Okay, this last card now, this one fell out. It is reversed. Here we go. It is the three of Michael. So the three of Michael is air energy. Remember, we've got that stuff going with Saturn and with Mars, you know, F, you know Aquarius. It's all in Aquarius. We have that Libra full moon. Um, you know, that those are all our air signs, also Gemini. And it's about our thought processes. It could be about hearing news. But this is letting go. And I think that's this whole thing. This whole thing is you're letting go. You're letting go of this past. You're letting go. You're kind of looking at it at going and going, I, you know, now, you know, I'm giving I'm being given a new opportunity. I'm give, being given a new direction. And there's a whole bunch of letting go for you, my Aries. So three of Michael, release the past. You will grow from the situation. Time heals all wounds. I really don't feel, now I'm not saying that you're letting go of old relationships, I'm not, but you're letting go of old hurts, you're letting go of, of just things, you know, when I talk about the full moon, I know it's release, relinquish, and request, it's releasing what's holding you back and relinquishing what you don't need anymore. It's kind of like this whole really big cleansing air, you know, cleansing of your, um, just your your general energies, your general, you know, just surroundings. So there's a lot of letting go for you this weekend. Now, can that be a little bit painful? Yes, but it's it's almost like my Aries, you're taking it, you're, you're taking it, and like I said, I, I saw, I see this maturity, and I'm not saying that you're not mature, but I, I'm seeing you take this to the next, to a higher level. Okay, I just have to tell you what I have to tell you, right? Right. So anyway, my Aries, if you enjoy my readings, remember, down there is the buttons, like, share, subscribe. But as always, my Aries, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.